Morning, Salon. We come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy, ninety-eight point one FM. As we earlier don't introduce the studio guest, we now Andrew Ravali, Executive Director, Institute for Governance Reform, IGR. Inside the edition of the program, Good Morning Saloon, it is yeah, for analyzed the finding for sake of the November 26 incidents we then describe as a failed coup. Well, the, the IGR, now Independent Multidisciplinary Policy Research Think Tank Group, now Saloon, we don't do research on happening them, now the country, and they don't do the uh, research on the November 26 incident with entitled Violence Entrepreneurs. Understanding the actors and incentives behind the November 26th field coup. Once again, good morning, Andrew Lavalier, and welcome to the program. Good morning, Salon. Good morning, listeners, and good morning to you, Musa. From that description and introduction to viewers and listeners, the media inside the program for talk about Una research we Una don't put together and findings. And uh, for sake of the November 26 incident, but before we can look at this report and within the inside and why we do them, make we look at what in now now you take as an organization within the talk on good governance, democracy, and social justice in the country for sake of the November 26 incident. So, um, with the CSA, um, of course, November 26 really bad, and we people in week to that nightmare. A lot of people and they just feel say no, this not ever happen again. We they see Boku young people and when they're not been born before um with, during the war, now that ten day they hear it gone for the first time. So it be it be shocking for everybody. So the the whole idea about the coup, um, it's being politicized and we people are talking no this now. Na APC in a bad party and they do this. No, this why in fact some people didn't even say, no, now nah, President Bio Nain even nah, nah, fix this coup, um nah, nah, stage manage this coup. So what thing we do as a think tank now for let we try for understand what thing happened and why it happened, not to would I guilty or would I not guilty, because at the court of law nine go prove would I guilty or would I not guilty. But as people where they feel the insecurity where they happen, the whole idea now for law find out. Um, why this happened and how for prevent them. So, you, in fact, you the report we talk about, who oh, titled Violence Entrepreneurs, um, the title, in fact, Violence Entrepreneur, will be inspired by one Russian writer, Wayne Volkiv. So, in write on Russian capitalism, it's in fact that violence then make Russian capitalism grow. So, in call them violent entrepreneurs, we really will call them violence entrepreneurs. Which is an entrepreneur for family, we don't know. Entrepreneur and a possible way they, way they buy and sell, where they do trade. So that means this report they say people and the way they trade in violence. In fact, na, na, na some of the reasons that they're behind the coup. So this is not about APC, it's not about um, Northerner, it's not about tribe. Um, so we try for really try for understand who then are the characters then behind this and why they do it in the <clears throat> Earlier, um, when this incident happened, We've been get the uh, defense spokesperson, uh, then at the same seat we did so, been described the incident as not to coup. And later, now, government uh, press conference, Minister of Information press conference, government come up with a statement, say, now a coup. Now, from the IGR standpoint, what's now your description of the incident? Is it a coup or a violence attack? No, we they just, we they just take within the states don't describe and the state don't describe them as a failed, failed coup. So that's how we did. It's not not to IGR for describe something. It's how officially it's, it's being understood, and based on that we did do analysis. So you see, say um, we where this attack happened um, the uh, on the twenty sixth. We um, we see a lot of interpretation. So the easy way people then go, they go just go break. Can you pay attention to me, please? Uh, the easy people then take for just go break the the Palembo Road prison um, for you know break the ammunition dump. So that is the way that they happen. It actually, it, it, it require greater um, investigation. So now that make we actually say we need for investigate this. Um, so people in will say you you get social science behind uh, peace and security. 
with na social science behind peace and security. So, you know, na human behavior, na in social science they normally analyze because the, the conflict they hold they get, like for the past two, three years now, the conflicts they hold they get, not to fetch between Liberia and Sierra Leone and between Guinea and Sierra Leone, not amongst yourself as Sierra Leoneans. So now that make a fine for level critically on analyze what thing happen, who that they did behind them, how they drive them. For let we know the one the way they drive peace and security, for example, the justice system, government, and um, the security apparatus, even international partners, within a civil society and the media, which kind of lessons we need for learn from this and how we forestall or even prevent them kind of thing in the future. So some people may take and say, no, now grievance is not linked to this. So this paper, Violence Entrepreneurs, in the toxin are more greed than grievance. Nine lead, nine, nine lead to this to this attack. So um, from IGR angle, and when you start for talk, you mentioned about the reason why um, on the reports now for what happened and why it happened. So far, what you wanna get at is where they show the reason we make um, we they get this particular issue for the victim. Okay, so we realize it. The one them we. Then do this attack. They not talk to anybody. There was no radio announcement. There is nothing. But following that, we hear a lot of interpretations on media. So you can get, in fact, three big interpretations will capture. You get one group uh, on BBC who will say, um, no, this is not, not the economy and this is a mirror of other coups that will happen at the region. And of course, um, now the election will don't just pass now based on all of that. So that is one bucket of ideas. You get another bucket of idea we propounded by Sarah I, where they say, in fact, this is not really not the division within this country, yeah, and the country actually need uh, cohesion. So you get another press release we come out, actually led the first organization. We all signed to RAM, but it's led by Human Rights uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Watch. Um, so Human Rights Defenders Network. So in, you argue, say, this now is a chain of, you know, activities, you know, largely by what we call anti-democratic forces there, where it, since 2018, um, maybe they're not be happy with the change of government. So all of them disturbances over time. So you, with all of this, we talk to all of them, see, you're fine, then interpretation are fine. But the one they actually wait and do the attack, they don't talk. So what you do now, and that normally, uh, uh, you know, research institutions they can do, we try to find out the background of the one they will then kill in the process, and the one they will then arrest with they already did now, as alleged, yeah, alleged uh, uh, people then. Um, so so we, we get the background, for example, of Amadou Kweta. This is not the first document. This way they actually find, they put all of the background, at least six major Individuals, the one they always and they are fugitive, some they wouldn't don't kill, and some they wouldn't in a police cell right now with not them background. So, why would the top call and violence entrepreneurs? We call them violence entrepreneurs because, and I, like why we talk entrepreneur and a person with a buy and sell, and if not violence entrepreneur, not the person with a buy and sell violence, and we call them so because we feel so we check the do background checks of them people and they we see say they get a long history. So this not to APC, uh, not to APC for toxic. In fact, APC condemned the violence, and then go to the Parliament in the well of Parliament. SLPP and APC they make a joint motion. They all to condemn, and I believe say APC get an avowed commitment, say they can able come up power through the ballot box, right. and throughout we research who don't they see, we don't they see say, you get. 90% of Sierra Leoneans then, in fact, then they show up at the coup. 90% of Sierra Leoneans they talk say, we will not believe in violence for win election, I mean, for take power. We believe, say, now periodically through elections, now with the change government. So then you begin to watch, all of them are away then they inside police nest, some that are killed. None of them not really belong to the army. Okay. None of them not belong to a, police, a political party. So you know we talk say no then why well i will talk say largely most of them not belong to any political party in fact 
the analogy we need for draw, when January 6th attack happened in the US in 2020, 2021, nobody not talk say, no, this one here, na Republican them. When you breach the law, then they actually deal with you on the account of yourself breaching the law. So the more we the the more we the you know try for politicize this process here, the more it become difficult for let we handle. And in fact, what thing will happen, it will become now a situation inside political parties that they actually hide inside. Okay, now inside um Mr. Lavelli, most of them we um cookie up on other African country them. One thing we can come out clear now that um, because of um, hardship, injustice, or you know the misuse of we natural resources for Salon, we don't sense anything like that. We make you know continuously we get this issue of you know riot or attempt to. And I not go talk say now what they call grievance. I know we talk say people they not get grievance, but you know we style and violence entrepreneurs because. Grievance can be exploited. In fact, so when I make with the toxic political parties, and therefore be very careful. Because the more you not create policy platforms, so love, say for example, jobs in day, for the past God knows how long, decades, young people they not get jobs. <coughs> under Kaba, under Kuruma, under Bio, there is a difficulty for let young people they not get jobs. But the moment we begin to say, many people they get jobs, too many people they get jobs, Lokono they get jobs. You know, it's happen, it creates dissatisfaction. So political parties actually need for frame policy responses. Say, for example, we will not get jobs because of X, Y, Z. And at this meeting, they do for a lot of great jobs. And if this economy no better, of course, the economy no one day better from women to grow up. Um, and that not really a justification. See, I get for can take gun, go break the armory and release uh, prisoners then uh, for, for spirit to go. So you know one day be that situation. So the point all they make is that the the then grievance and they can be exploited by people and we want for, for govern. So and we they expect for let APC and SLPP actually sit down and discussing challenges then they one of the areas that we can sit down and discussing challenges then they with democracy they provide the parliament. Some of the areas where they can provide, where they can, dis, where they can make for discussing challenges, then they, na na media, na place like this, like regularly owner they invite APC, SLPP. So this is not a thing about exchange rate. This is not a thing about inflation. How do we tackle it? Okay. So so we no want for believe, say na, you know, of course yes, grievance is part of it, but it's largely greed na in the part of it, especially given the fact say. We watch some people then, then get a history of participation in, in many coups. Say from 1992, um, you get one of them where he been involved in the 1992 coup and now being uh, involved in, in the AFRC coup in, 1980, in 1997. Um, so you get them background and they, um, it's not, it has nothing to do with APC. Well, the more politicized, the more defined and difficult for it. And we 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 they look at the report proper, and uh, then to what Simona used inside this report, we in our actors and incentives behind the November 26th field call. When we they look at the actors, we will not highlight now in our report and the incentives behind that, and look at how it relates to political party or it relates to any sector in our society. The program like Good Morning Salon in the Country from 98.1 FM. You've been listening to Andrew Lavalli, Executive Director na <coughs> IGR. It is inside the program. They talk about the report we then put together with the entitled uh, Violence Inter Inter Entrepreneurs, Understanding the Actors and Incentives Behind the November 26th Failed Coup. The program Good Morning Salon, they continue. We they look at one part with headline stories, then we go with say, from last week, the Criminal Investigations Department, CID, don't they question the four stem presidents, Anest by Kroma and Giam, Steve Bale conditions them. We said the Minister of Information and Civic Education, Chernobasi, this is not because the four stem presidents in past and present security garden involved in the attempted coup. Well, the Minister of Information explained more to Michael Sambula inside this interview. We said it begin for talk about the reason them why they extend the coffee time we then be done. We don't move from 9 to 12 o'clock. The curfew in purpose 
now been for allow the government of Salon for fem and bring to account the people that were responsible for bringing the Kuskas who people and suffer on the 26th of November 2023. We'll be making very clear, say, we need for make sure, say, we isolate them people and give the security forces the space. Since the curfew, the Fambul and Salon don't help the government for give information, give the Salon police and security forces information. We don't fend some of them people here. We don't locate significant number of the weapons them with them in thief with them go. We don't able to reassure the people of the security situation. We don't increase security. We don't keep an eye on everything that happen. And His Excellency the President, based on the advice we don't receive from the security forces, he don't say now, well, we can move the coffee go before small so that people will still get a chance for making them enjoy themselves, for making them continue to live their life. Because as I always say, President Bio in mission I follow the people of Salon then live to the fullest potential. All right. Uh, um, how much are the people then uh, where government don't catch within this period and also the ammunition then we soon don't get a significant number of? Um, in terms of arrest, the Salon police gained in custody about 71 individuals. In fact, I think at the last count, I've been the last one today was about 79 individuals, actually. Of them, one they don't take statements from over two-thirds of them. The specific information on the weapons, them, where they don't secure, they don't get back. I could provide that at the press conference uh, because we try to make sure see whatever we say, uh, really based on the fact. But we also get out there about 50-something people, them, within the wanted list. So they continue for big fan problems. Any say you see them people here, yeah, you hear about them or something, just call the police line they will get, 900 119 and provide information. And remember, say also, you get ransom. If you give information, we land them people here, yeah, 50 million oleons, 50,000 oleons, it didn't have for this holiday. Okay, um, now with um, them people here, yeah, 50 people, um, we still didn't have the wanted list. But you say also, I don't catch, but 79 with the air police with the investigation. Now, the 50 people, you not know, think say, na concern. Why you think say for a lap the curfew and change at that at this well, time? The government of Salon get multiple ways for look for them people. You are not to cough you no more they use. Cough you are just one. And cough you still did. We just don't extend the time because we get for balance. President Julius Madabio, the balance, they look at. Okay, we get this to happen, but the economy day, people are going to enjoy this in December. Then people here, yeah, we can do this bad thing. They want to disrupt with life. And President Julius Madabio want to ensure say, the people and continue to live their life as best as possible. So now I make you say, well, we'll give them more time. Till midnight, then you go back now, yours. Now opportunity is for our big people and say, do ya? We do extend them out to midnight, then give you more time, but we'll not abuse them. Because the salon police and the security forces then get very clear instructions. Anybody we abuse, we seek for undermine the coffee, could be also met with the full force of the law. So the big family and do ya where they abide. Then people are when are the wanted people them. And then people are we don't put them um, na the list. Is it that people them we on a suspect see they within the country now or they don't go out of the country? Since an ongoing investigation, we know they provide all the details. We will left hand to people and encounter more invest more information, intelligence for we and we act. Which we know is that they let them go undergone the laws of Salon. The full force of the intelligence of this country could chase them wherever they go and they could be brought for answer, for face justice. Away a little bit from the coffee, many, many people um, don't see see um, the the former president been there under house arrest where they make them then say government don't put them into house arrest for clarify that one day within really government or the police security sector whose action they take against former president Koma. if they arrest you now if police invite you say can go give statements or you know somebody where they need for question not so for just can be witness so they need for question you for a high crime who would investigate treason, overthrow of the states, conspiracy, 
murder. They get plenty of crime the way the states they investigate. If they invite you, they begin to talk to you two hours. Then, first of all, for let them begin to talk to you, then we don't wait in the policeman and call them. We don't caution you. We don't say, hey, this is an investigation. Anything you say, then we use it against you. All landed, then we don't make and clear. If they're done or they're not done, but you not possibly get respect and say, well, if we're going to us, we do going to us, a bail landing. Because they need you condition, especially in this case. When they agree for the former president, Dr. Anes Paik Roma, we will continue to get respect for as a former leader of this country. For go home, the police gave very clear restrictions. They say, if you stay in your if you limit interactions of people that you get, if you come back at this specific time, and a dandy specifically happen now. People in the talk, oh, that means in a house, I guess, we on job. And say before you to come out, out of, yeah, and before you come out, if out you of your, come out, if you want to come out, if you want to get the expressed permission of the Inspector General of Police. Now, within President Bill, don't always say, as far as this investigation is concerned, we follow the rule of law. Nobody will be targeted because of his status, but nobody is spared because of his status. So, it's very clear to me, say, then restrictions and they now a fair way for balance for say we maintain the rule of law but we respect the personality because now a former fountain of honor of this country i'll make something clear we know the we know the do commentary the law of salon gets say they don't place you under house arrest within the law get a bill with condition bill without condition and the restriction me on job now for explaining i ain't lawyer then i BBC or VOA, they speak English. Then one in the are part of the old generation of politicians that we don't use for talk English for mix up mix up people. We own generation. But, but, but is, we they they talk about the they, they talk so about the timing know. and the respect and also they talk about the way how we think say the former president no get that in respect it Alexi like, they don't praise and guilty as and the case. We don't see talk that day because in say talk say the salon police don't handle this. They say the so very professional. Very, exactly. So the salon police will conduct the investigation, mm -hmm. don't treat them professionally. We will don't they communicate and one day you know, but no go back to me say I don't see anything bad about the former president. We don't maintain I make could they use the word we use. We say them put restrictions because we want to stick to the fact. Many people don't point them um, into the issue around the old politics of um, uh, um, opposition and government. Again, you just need to look. We get um, APC get forty something percent of people them. Eh? If we say they arrest people as alone because of politics or APC, we we'll arrest too. President, you not interested in that. We get people in the APC when we party them. We we don't condemn this. The party don't come out and condemn. The program is still listening. Now, good morning, Salon. We they come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy, 98.1 FM. We've been listening to the Minister for Information and Civic uh, Education, Chernobyl. We they talk to Michael Sambula inside the interview today. Who say he say the reason why then gave Steve Bill to the first time president are because in first time president security them uh, involved in the coup, a field coup attempt and. Uh, well, Red Democracy go on for make them clear. See, we try to get from the lawyer of the first time president, Joseph Fitzgerald Kamara, but saying already for talk on the issue, it's on the radio. With the program, now good morning, Saloni, they come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy, 98.1 FM. I'm going to take your money and go. Hey, some network problem. What's he going to do now? Go to any Salon Commercial Bank branch, kiosk or sub-agent them, all of us in the country. Then get the money service business. You go able to take money where they send for you in a MoneyGram, Western Union, Small World, and real money where they over 150 country them with the real and small world this is for we brother and sister there where they oversee then can able to send money direct to salon commercial bank accounts the salonia like they want they want build us or they want they we want car worker or for support their family them then can they oversee and put money inside them bank accounts how for do all this if i do buy under it is me brother 
order. All you for do, now for download the Rare and Small World app them and put your personal information them. Now you that. Member say you forget valid ID card and the correct code where the person send for you for go take you money. I want to send money for me on cool upline. No worry. Salon Commercial Bank column Salon Link where the local transfer and me on Salon Commercial Bank money. Where anybody can go na any Salon Commercial Bank branch, kiosk, and then sub Salon Commercial Bank agency. And he sign at the country and tell the teller, say, you want to send money upline. Then go do your transaction and give you code where you go send to your uncle. But your uncle forget valid ID card off and the code where they give you. Send and to them so he go take your money. Salon Commercial Bank, they look for agents them where they do money transfer for partner with them. Waiting at the sub agent. Sub agents, now people that will get business, we want for do money transfer service for Salon Commercial Bank. This service will give you good commission. So, go na Salon Commercial Bank and go register or call them na this number ya. 077-714-792. Then go talk to you, find, find one. Salon, Salon Commercial, Commercial Bank, Bank delivering value. value. When I go take your money and go, the program na Good Morning Salon will come to you live from Radio Democracy 98.1 FM as your Ripa one of we headline them this morning with the talk to the Human Rights Commission of Salon. Who say that they can't talk about um, how they don't they work for CCA people and get their rights in the country. And members say the Human Rights Commission of Salon, one of the core mandates are for promote and protect human rights issues in the country. And over the past year, the commission done, they do their work. And the commission get five commissioners, then one of them. We we'll get now the studio this morning, uh, Simitila Valley. We go come April for talk about um, issues them. We they don't get her from we, you know, the country get feel at M school November twenty sixth this year. Good morning, ma, and welcome to Gedi Democracy. Thank you. Good morning, listeners. Okay. Um from where the feel at M school on November twenty sixth happen, the commission gets big role for play and we know say when I don't go now some part then at the country. So far, we till get her. So thank you very much. As we all know, everybody wake up on Sunday with um, the no, with the news that um, there was these attacks going on. Um, the, the gunshot, me, me people then wake me self, then they call me self. They hear the gunshots in the background, and they try to understand what happened. And then later, we see on social media now where the the, the prisons, the correctional center, will open. For, and that thing, they actually me worry because before then I was like everything's under control, but then. Never in the history of whether me since me done their life or say everybody now the correctional center be done really so it was really a cause for concern because as you say the human rights commission day for the promote and protect the human rights of everybody so it's on both sides with the protect the human rights of those who are behind bars to ensure that they have their constitutional and their statutory rights and rights and guaranteed under international uh, uh, covenants and protections. But we also they look at the rights of citizens to ensure that there's security and harmony. Because where there is no security, where there's no harmony, you know they will enjoy human rights. So we are very concerned because there are people who need to be behind bars. They should not be out on the streets causing problems. So we're very concerned. So the first thing we will do on Monday, first now for release a press release, saying first of all that um, we are very concerned about the issue because we don't um, the right to participation under Article 21 of the UDHR is our people being involved in governance. It is not for people for take over, try for take over the governance of the state by force. So we know they support anybody where they try for use violence for take over uh, um, governance by force. So we condemn the attempted coup or whatever the, the, the breach of security as how we refer to them. We condemn roundedly this breach of security and we also uh, reach out and send with sympathy a message to the gallant um, force, um, members of the armed forces. So we continue for it and tell them thank you for the part where they play. And for all the other people, then, even citizens, they will not agree for letting them people then go out, they actually round some of them up or then provide information to the security forces for let people then come back. We do the press release and we continue for tell us, but also we go do monitoring. So on the Wednesday after, we actually go now the correctional center for we say for go see the level of damage because the we, we need the correctional center and if it damage it means that we have nowhere that people can be kept securely so that we say go enjoy peace whether over christmas or any other time so we go there and we see i mean it was really shocking for see the bullets them 
for um, na the, especially at the special court for Sierra Leone, how they destroy all of the cells. So in fact, we meet them now, then they try for see how they go able for repair. So it means that even if the inmates meet for come back that day, there was nowhere they could securely be kept. So um, there were bullets all over the place. There were uh, big rocks we see, and some big, big uh, uh, ball stone. We we ask outside the commodity say saying that the people then carry them. Big, big ball stone where they use for for hit the, the the cells and for for break the all, then damage all the the the, the cells and now special courts. Even a Baden Barrow, even to the woman, and they go and destroy, destroy the, the, the place. You know, even trying to do the clean, uh, cleaning exercise. We also see the damage to the gates because for the, for the special courts, now through the female entrance and use, you could see the damage and show and see a motorcar ram into the gates. We force for enter. And then we also talk to the inmates and whether any, they had any impact on them. So at that time we were on the Wednesday, people had come back voluntarily. Most of the people who were there were, were had voluntarily returned. We had even those one that will be under safe custody. We had, I think, two or three of them. The police of this, um, um, how do you call that? The military officers and where they may hold with eighty eighty, where they may be under secure court. And they said we, we have, we didn't, we are not, we did not participate. So we know they go run away. They were there, and we met other people. So it was, and we we'll go to the woman and waiting the woman and say, say, we we not do nothing. He said we we want worker like free citizens in this country. So we not run away. He said we come back because we want worker. And he said we pass. We know one day under hide and seek. Now, talking about the November 26 incident, plenty of things may happen on that particular day. Mm-hmm. As when I don't always or almost don't tell us for bearing to all who that die and the soldier them will die to their families, them and that would then lost their life. I don't pray for them. But plenty of incidents happen to uh, the one them we, for instance, there was a video we, um, the soldier in the explain this we shoot a nine foot, you know, die. So past them come, come close to them, beat them, or can shoot them back, he die. In instances like that, or arrest of people were involved in perpetrating such things, what did the human rights say about their human rights or their life at that moment's day? So I mean, my rights commission always believes in the rule of law and the constitutional guarantees. Me not see that particular video. There were lots of videos flying around that day. So not to all I able to watch, because some you don't know if not true, some whether they not lie. But any instance where somebody then then you are not es- fleeing a, a, a custody or you're not fleeing escape, you are not doing anything way then for shoot you for it is wrong, it is it is illegal, and individuals then for for go make a report. If they feel say they're not able for reports to the police. Um, for say that they suffered grievous bodily harm, that is even still they're alive, or if they don't die, the, the, the family members can come make a report. If they feel say, when well, they report to the police, no action has been taken, they can come report to me, or they can even come directly to me. But we personally not see them specific videos okay. then, but it is wrong. The, the, um, you're innocent until proven guilty. So if in the, in the process of investigation, in the process of saving the country, you, you are injured by the forces, that is, that is a reasonable uh, um, use of force. However, if people still feel say they uh, abuse that force, they can come make a report and it can be investigated. You know, but nobody can take the law into their own hands. All right. Now, um, as you say, when I go after the, the, the November 26 incident, when I go to some um, prison them and other parts them. Now, the one day we basically they under police, um, you know, custody for help them with investigation. When I get anything we get for do it, they not get access to the lawyer and other things? At the time we go, because the investigation is just fresh and it was less than 48 hours, so we not actually be able to talk to them, but we noted that they were there and that we may say we get for come back. But because we get this international human rights day celebration, so we not be get a chance for actually go talk to them one day. But we get for make a visit later this week for go. Because definitely they have constitutional rights, they have international rights uh, and human rights. For say the lawyer has to, they, they have to be granted access to a legal practitioner of their choice, and that then for tell them what they arrest them for, and then for as best as possible carry out a speedy investigation. And we have been in discussions with um, the um, uh, Ministry of Justice for say, I mean, let them try and ensure that there's a speedy investigation. Because we all want the country to be safe and secure. And that cannot happen if investigations are still ongoing for a long time. And then people become restless and we don't know what else could happen. 
Continue for the way to inside the program in name Nasimiti Lavali, um, Commissioner and the Human Rights Commission of Salon and Sidera for talk about issues we get for the with human rights. We'll go for a break, we'll call, we'll go talk to the other studio guests um, as Demi Pool report concerning the November 26th failed attempt coup. Trust Bank, the game changer don't come. As with the lead, others they follow. And just with your mobile phone, you will transfer and receive money with ease, speed, and safety. Crassy 98.1 FM and the inside today edition of the program. We come to be other studio guests, we now Andrew Lavalli, where they talk about the report we then put together for Sika the November 26 incident. We then title violence entrepreneurs understanding the actors and the incentives behind the November 26 field coup. For somebody they listen to you before we can look at the thematic areas they mentioned the report, make we look at how we arrive at conclusion for put this report together on our title. The way we are just read. So thank you very much. So largely it's our best work. And we do media reviews and and some of the media reviews include social media, regular media, and like the desk work. And desk work actually we look into, you know, um, some literature. Of course we do primary interviews as well. If you have, if you want to do background checks on somebody, you can go ask that person the, the institution we belong to, the uh, some of their family members, then for letting know. If you answer this person, you've not been there for the past one year. You need for actually go very close to a network for let go and arrive at that conclusion. Then. So you, you get a, cup, a, a number of uh, um, standards then who, who employ. And, and by the way, I must say um, we commissioned two, two investigations. One, now this, uh, now this research, the other one, now the now the, we did do an, an ass assessment on the, 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 the economic implications or the impact of this coup on businesses, and that will be published later this week. Okay. But the, this, this one really now for understanding incentives um, and the actors then. So now we don't publish right now. Now, um, let me look at the, 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 the actors then. We wanna I marked or we wanna, we did insert this wanna report. And you earlier, before we go for them, break them, we they mentioned some of the names them where they alleged say involved in this incident. See, they know they mentioned Pankus them since. Mm -hmm. Take me through the names them or actors them behind this school according to one of your reports. Okay, so we this so this is not the one they will officially within they publish. So as government they publish and as police they publish saying that this actor, you actually go do background checks on them. And why we do background checks, and I continue for reiterate, because nobody, but all of the one there, no one they sit on a radio talk say, we did this because of X, Y, and Z. So if I follow you, you actually employ like social science skills for let you find out with no incentives, with no incentives in there. So for example, if you see like Koita, so we cover Koita, for example, where this a well known, um, say for saving the army. A well known for say they live abroad, um, if they live in the UK. A well known for talk say with the change of government, he actually voluntarily retire and left. And a well known say if they make social media broadcast, we've been there out. Part of family they talk say I get for terminate, um, like the government. In fact, they, 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 we attach one of the social media broadcasts then inside the reports. So if you one of you you get uh, Idrissa Kamara, they call leather boots, leather boots now passing away. Um, he, um, since 1992, we know say been involved in the 1992 coup, um, and after that he was assigned to the under Secretary of State Mines, and the the illegal trade in mines he was actually coordinating it. Moving forward in 1997, he been involved in the AFRC coup. Um, of course, um, with the change of government by Echo Echo Mog in 1999, he actually left. He only came back in 2007, now he had a and he became a bodyguard to a presidential aspirant, and he was involved in another violent attack in, in, in Bo, where he was involved between him and Tom Numa, and of course the SLPP incident in, the, on, in, in 19, 2009, uh, March 13 and March uh, 16 precisely, he was named in it. Why would they, do, would they say this? People learn very quick for learning and say, no, this is not APC. This is not party. 
and I continue for say, when you watch what happen um, in in the U.S. in the U.S. what happened on the sixth of January, twenty twenty one, you get people then we that they do with Donald Trump, they talk, they actually go attack the Capitol. No, nope. in the investigation, in there is say, no, this is not Democrat, this is not Republican. Which you do a right or a wrong. In fact, waiting like waiting, seeming thing they do in human rights. Now, then turn and follow, you know, follow, make sure, see, all the ones that they day in this net with the safeguard, then write them. But the moment you try for, say, you try for politicize them, you they make work difficult for everybody. Right. Would they come yeah. to the political aspects? Just give the, 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 the actors we of course, uh, the, 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 the list The list is long, um, so you get like Yete Yete, um, when uh, Yete Yete and Mohamed Yete Toure, of course, him being. Um, in being the, in Abi OSD, he was deployed in Bo, and and then in Bo, in fact, we we'll, we'll get some thread. Then we we'll, we we link thread links that we we'll put on some of the actions, the activities in Bo, and of course he was named in the last attempted coup, just in July this year, and of course he was captured in Guinea, and he was actually in prison at the time. With, with this, with, with, with this happened. So now nah, a day on the list um, of of people. And, this, and it, the, this somebody go say the investigation still go on and not just um, allegations on then people are way when I don't highlight as uh, actors in the field coup for IGR. When I get any evidence linking them to the attempted coup, no. So now they go by the list of the. Yeah, we we'll just go by the list and we we'll get them background then. All right. Now, um, as you mentioned, say, this particular incident, we know for link out politics, but already people don't start for the link um, If you look, um, waiting on the happen, all the security, them, we, all the people, them, we, police don't arrest, they're all linked to former President Koma, and people, again, they allege, say, now government stage this particular coup. As a country, we need them talk there at this time where we get serious issues like this. People, and they always get opinions. But the opinion of people in the whole, in order to stop you from doing your work, waiting, waiting, we actually need for follow is the quality of the evidence. If, so that make me they really encourage government as best as possible letting they share information in ways that are technical, in ways that are less emotive. Because you know, one of the things that will make me happy, when this thing happen, we for don't wreck with. With, with, with economy, with democracy, if we don't easily succeed, if the people of Freetown are in a predominantly APC-dominated city, they talk saying, "Wow, we want this," but it, it take me back to our four barometer data. Our four barometer data, they should say, eighty-nine percent of citizens, eighty-nine percent of citizens, then they talk say, "We not believe in any other means for change government, except through elections." So. In fact, way we way we do background checks on even some of the one that we that be there in the video, we then go effect the arrest that civilian arrest of one party one that wouldn't they, they are largely northerners, so I think the government for no say I'm actually enjoying the support of people. Of course, we get with division, but I'm enjoying support across the divide for law. Make sure say we end violence. This chain of violence, we this coup is just one of them. But the chain of violence which alone they get, it not go assure you of anything in the future, of jobs, of, of, of progress. So we actually need for find out what in the drive this and how do we how do we forestall it? Now, right. now um, Mr. Lavalli, again on the line of T we get for do with politics. Um, if you listen BBC, the, 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 the lawyer for former president Kuma you know, get waiting can say and we listen from the Minister of Information, in self get waiting say also include English and other things there. You know, at this time, we'd expect them to talk there from government or opposition when we get serious issues like this. You know, we get for always separate the rhetoric of politicians from violence entrepreneurs. And I they have for really talk on the report, violence entrepreneurs. Okay. We watch violence entrepreneurs, is that people wouldn't get background over you if I belong to a party, you belong to a party. That party talk to you, talk to you, talk to you, because you're not in your DNA and your background for take gun, go fetch. You will never do it. So we get for a fan way. You have people within our miss way. That's what they always do. 
And there is a reason why, say for example, Pad Padenba Road Correctional Center, there is a reason why then they keep and so, not to for say, na a place just for punish, but na a place for actually consign people who are very bad and who missed. So for let somebody just grab it, talk say, I'm dissatisfied. I don't know what the dissatisfaction is. I they go broke them and then they and unleash them people and they, on the very communities that they have hurt. It means we need for really go find out um, within the drive down and day. It goes beyond economic hardship. It goes beyond SLPP and APC divide or North East versus South. Uh, North so, versus South. Talking about the actors of the November 26th uh, uh, failed coup, and we just listened to an interview with the Minister of Information to talk about why the first time president and the chairman of the uh, opposition, honest by Koma, um, the CID, they take statements and then get and Steve Bill and the arguments being the whether they are under house arrest or not under house arrest. And the pre on the pretext that most of the, on the context that most of the people in we the name now, whether past or present uh, security, we belong to them. In Duna Yon report, as in the era of the actors, anything linked to the All People's Congress Party or the first 10 presidents to the coup? Of, of course, you will get team with link to anybody. You will get people in where they link to Youssef or to me or to any political party or anybody. But the fact of the matter is where they investigate crime, uh, except if it's really organized, because one of the things that maybe something we don't want to invite, uh, investigate is this really organized. But the moment you go begin to talk, say, no, there is a political party behind this, or there is this person here behind this. Um, it's, I'm not a lawyer, but it's become increasingly complicated. And me no one they see way then they, for example, they always really cite uh, January 6, 2021, for talk, say, no, we they investigate Republicans because of, of this. You actually investigate the person in action because one of the, 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 the you, you get a principle for let you, you, you be law abiding. So, of course, yes, some of them people are with them, with them named and we acknowledge and we report. Some of them are members of political parties. But you know what violence entrepreneurs can do? They can always exploit grievances. So, for example, if they're right now, Sierra Leone is polarized. And right now, economic hardship day. So if me talks here, they seize this moment now. You remember, we, we saw in the video one possibility talk say, when I join with because no one for virus at this price, the people not really they, they fail to bulge. They're not they're not bulge down there. So so that's that's who an entrepreneur is. The possible way you use this term your force when a Russian writer in talk say now these violence entrepreneurs they use for in the Russian capitalism. And in your own case, the, the violence entrepreneurs in, in Russia, and they actually get the state, and they control the state, and they, they use brutal force for letting them get capital. In we own case, the violence entrepreneurs really try to control the state um, in, to the staff, yes. In the era of incentives, what in IGR they talk about? Incentives behind the November 26th? The, the incentives are ex extremely personal. Normally, in the history of coups, when way coups can normally happen, um, way coups can normally happen, um, the constitution is suspended. So, if the constitution is suspended and they rule by decree, that is APC MP within a parliament, yes, LPP, and they need the day day. This order will day, you know, the day. Then, people, and they, if they succeeded, they will be in control. Then, financial situation, the economic status, they change. So you, you, you find, so, so you, there are incentives with it. So in fact, you go link to former president, but not to necessarily send you for do yourself. Because there is a common, there is a complete desire to say, if this work, I'm better off in this system. So whilst you get Paul Collier, Paul Collier and one, of, one good writer would write largely about grievance grievance. So in the talk, say, there's greed, there's grievance. We know they normally propel conflict. In we own case, whilst there's greed, where there's grievance, grievance they largely among people. We saw, we saw August 10, uh, 2022. We saw April 30, 2020, three, six weeks into, into COVID, the riot they wouldn't take place. But it's largely about greed. We do now background checks on the people that were involved. It's beyond grievance. 
So you see, say grip the the then then challenge in our then our society. Um, they, they they can't be exploited for le- for people and personal gains. Yes. Continue for stay with me, Andrew Lavalli. When we come back, we continue for look at this Una report and what we want find out and what the way forward. The program na Good Morning Saloon. If you listen to Andrew Lavalli, Executive Director, uh, Institute of Governance Reform, IGR. The program na Good Morning Saloon. Instead, the program we go for a short break. Hello, we come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy, ninety-eight point one FM on the line now. We they go na ECSL, who say them pull a press release, see them if man they be enter na ECSL office and see some of them property them. Well online now we they talk to the deputy director of communication na the electoral commission for salon ECSL, we na Christopher Jones. Good morning, Christopher Jones, and welcome to the program. Good morning, Salon. Good morning, people of Radio Democracy. Good morning. As I just tell listeners and viewers of Radio Democracy, for person we now see the press release of ECSL about uh, the thief now in our office, you can confirm that for we listeners and viewers. Yes, not true. So, uh, um, who's one of the offices them we then thief mania go and thief because ECSL get different offices them across Saloni and even across the capital. Thank you for that. And the premise of which we will call the we are house na fifteen industrial estate Wellington. Also the story for safekeeping. Not to the headquarter, now the we are house na Wellington. Um, now that we are out now, Wellington, waiting and waiting, missing and waiting and waiting, then if man I take from ECSL office. As the press released it, we get information reports, say the thief electronics tablets, which we can call iPad, who we use. So now and take some of them. So straight away, what the commission do? A report the matter to police. And police now with them, they can say, do investigation, hold suspect, and then charge the matter to court. We have the follow the matter, now we wait for the outcome of the kutus. How important then tablets are so they weigh then thief from ECSL and what and what in the content? Anything we use for election is important because uh, valuable instruments. Then. So once we keep them or not wear them, I should say they get importance because we they use them. Just that, very very important to win. How much tablet that we they talk about we get missing? We cannot give the figure for now because we are guided to make you know, prejudice the the Kotos matter. You know, we matter in a Kotos, you will take 10 to bottom. So now for Delvin Turam, as the matter the, in a Kotos now, and suspect in a custody, so we know how to talk too much about this matter. Let's wait for the outcome of the Kotos. Or Una, when a journalist, then, Una, he go to the Kotos and follow the trend of how the matter they go on. Since you say we are not recall the amount of or we are still together the amount of tablets we lost, apart from tablets, we have lost anything or then if anything from the office? We commissioner will tell you say we don't know almost tablets. But the commission they try for comply with what they usually say. When matter in a kotos, talk very little about them and let the rest. Because you will talk something, we go above the investigation or the trial will be gone. So now we we'll wait and see. We pull press release to inform the public because we could doubt be day. So they say that the headquarters or they say this or they say that. So make a clarity. Not to the business, not to November, not to December. Now inside, inside October and that. The matter in our Kotos. Now we we'll patient wait. Now we are waiting. Kotos go see. When this issue or the news break out, plenty think say, oh, 
ECSL one for divert the one of the recommendations now a dialogue about the disaggregated data. This thief way up on the ECSL office gets anything for do with the disaggregated data. ECSL no the eye nothing. What's the job of data? It looks very, very funny. We know that data we find the thief go. What do we report say the police electronic tablets? We maintain that. The car, the owner, Kutus. Nothing on the ECSL hide. We don't play nothing. Everything they intact. Tablets, relative to them. The matter of the Kutus will wait for the outcome of the Kutus. Okay, thank you very much, Deputy Director of Communication, uh, ECSL, Christopher Jones, for joining me inside the program. Good morning, Saloon. And confirm say yes, they're in chief na ECSL office. Now then we are out now Wellington, but the case they na caught now then they investigate. The program na good morning saloon. We the country from the society for radio democracy ninety eight point one FM. Inside the program this morning, we will continue for look at more issues and I will take one of our headlines to give them Musari Chairman for Equas Authority of Head of State, President Bola Ahmed Tinubudo, Shop, President Bill and Saloon people MC Equas come. ECOWAS go make sure say them promote good governance and protect the country in democracy. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu talked this inside the 64 ordinary session of the authorities of head of state and governance na the economic community of West Africa state. Well, you know, Kabia gets more in Guna report. Inside 1975, but 15 African countries come together for form the economic community of West African state ECOWAS, where they aim for promote economic trade cooperation, self reliance, promote good governance, democracy, and security, and plenty other things in the region. But one concern on the commodities being sent the region, that they couldn't wait on the app on a different continent, and the recent one. Now, the November 26 attempted to be up on a salon where Echo was concerned about and self been condemned. During the 64 ordinary session of the Authority of, of Heads of State and Governance, which took place in Abuja, Nigeria, the President Julius Madabio, and one part the African leader, them, we been the part of the 64 ordinary session where Echo was all. Usa them be talk about different sin name, we get for do with good governance, unconstitutional change of government, and plenty other sin name where they among the region. Where in the open this session, the chairman for ECOWAS Commission, where same way the president for Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, the start was for talk about the importance of the 64 ordinary session. During this 64th ordinary session, we will consider, as always, several issues reports and memoranda affecting critical areas and agenda of the community. I urge us to carefully consider the issue to be presented to all and make concrete and far-reaching decisions for the benefit of our community. In Kenyon for talk about what the ECOWAS make up of Liberia election we just done. Your Excellencies, Head of State and Government, distinguished guests, I would also like to seize this opportunity to commend and extend my heartfelt congratulations to the people of the Republic of Liberia for the successful conduct of the... You know, the investigation into this attempt to commit. Thank you. Now, just also, um, before I answer that question, say commend the people of Freetown for where they know um, embrace um, the violence and allow the situation for don't turn into a coup. Because we see how people then just not get involved. Whether not from the inmates say where they go left, where they not get involved, because we've been very concerned of where over two thousand people who may have grievances against the state go out and nothing happens. We really want to commend citizens, we are even commending inmates say wake out and not cause any havoc and say that give you hope for thread and say at least you know go degenerate into into a loss of life and nothing a loss of life. We also want to tell thank you even to the SSA, the correctional center for because normally in the past you'd be aware of death. You know, say the last riot, so many um, 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 inmates and die. There was not a single loss of life in this from what we get. So we also want to commend them for the professional way in which they handle the situation. Where even though there were bullets all over the place and nobody not die, but we also want or two people then injured. Um, coming back to the question we ask, as section 13 of the constitution show uh, citizens' responsibilities and even in the um, 
um, international covenants and protocols that we don't sign, there are, there are aspects of citizens' responsibilities. So we they call on everybody out there that continue to assist the police in their investigation. They will also calm down the, dis the discussions that we would get. As Andrew and his team, they try to say, let me look at this as a shame and then end up for only ID card and as a medical workman, we in still get and they try for get up. So thank you. Firstly,